Hello guys. So today I will start a series on simple linear regression, and I will do in the small bits and pieces. But I will comp complete the entire theory. So as we talk about simple linear regression, the first part consists of model and algorithm of the simple linear regression. Okay. So let's discuss this in the first part of the video. So where does simple linear regression arise from? Uh, people saw graphs like this, like this saw some scatter plots and this and saw like they sort of thought that okay, maybe a good line fit is possible, right? So maybe these data as to X and Y's are sort of linear related. They assume that, but they have some errors over here. So they're sort of modeling it. So I'm just telling in a very simplistic view. Um, so you have you can use this video for your revision purposes. So therefore, the for model sort of came in this format. So they have this. They understood that there may be some sort of relationship between y and x, right? So they did the following. What they did is that they assumed. So first of all, there is a data. The data is over there and which is of the form xi comma yi right and they have then the corresponding model they thought initially they thought that yi must be of some actually yi must be some function of xi plus some corresponding epsilon i the errors right so if you consider this corresponding format then you will get the following so you will get that and if you assume that f is equal to beta naught plus beta one xi, what will you get? That is x, sorry. If x is equal to beta naught plus beta one x, that is a simple linear format. So that's why the name is simple linear regression. Then what you, what you will get? You will get that yi is equal to beta naught plus beta one xi plus epsilon. That is exactly a simple linear regression because you assume that relationship in y and x is sort of simple linear okay there is multiple linear regression too but there are multiple terms so this is the model the basic model based upon which we have uh, like developed the whole theory now what is the next part since it's statistics and since we leave upon errors statisticians leave on errors they eat on errors so it's sort of it's not also natural so if you have a, if you collect a the data there is sort of natural tendency to be have an error rate that's a human law that's a natural law so therefore what we assume is that this epsilon i is random okay it's, it is an error and it's a random error so what we assume it's like it follows some distribution p with mean zero and variance sigma square okay so this is the following assumption so this assumption that it's a mean zero it's sort of telling that the error sum will be sort of uh, like the basic part. That means it tells that expectation of y given x will be actually beta naught plus beta one x. So exchange the average value will be that. Okay. So that is natural, right? The errors will be sum will be zero. And also this condition, sigma square, it may not be true always. So it's called homoscedasticity that the errors are similarly like distributed. In terms of variance, the variance is same. And what's next? Next part is that the next part that is there is that EI's is must be normal. Uh, sorry, not must not more normal, but it's an assumption part of it. But rather, EI's must be independent of each other. Normal is an assumption. It it it's most probably not true in every case. Okay, but it's a model assumption because you will see that. In case of um, normal uh, least square method and the minimizing the and the maximum likelihood estimate will be the least square estimate and maximum likelihood estimate will match. Okay, that's why normal are really beautiful. Normal is really beautiful. Normal distributions are really beautiful. So essentially, it's normal zero comma sigma square, but normal can be dropped off for the least square part. Okay, you don't need the normal for the least square part, but it's an extra assumption. So this is the steps that we need. For the entire um, like simple linear regression, very very basic and beautiful steps. Okay, so you must remember this simple linear regression, simple linear regression model. The expectation is this: the 
that is the mean of the errors is zero and homoscedastic and they're independent okay this is very important they're independent the errors must not be correlated with one another okay they must be independent okay so this is the basic model so now how will we analyze it, this model how will we actually get to know about this model like more about from the data that's the algorithm what well, that's actually the machine learning algorithm that's actually the statistical learning algorithm okay so how to do it so there's a specific way of it okay and we will follow the same way so first we get the data as you know we get the data xi comma yi we first get the data xi comma yi what we do next we have this model then what is the model here y is equal to fx plus f silent okay where f here is f here is beta naught plus beta 1 x okay here is x i comma y i here is the f we are assuming it that is y i equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x i plus f silent i okay this is a beautiful idea and then what's come what comes up next next thing actually comes up is the so we have defined the model and we also define the model essentially the model over here epsilon follows something zero comma sigma square and they're independent and all these things these are the model part okay so this is the model part and then comes up that okay you have fitted this model good but how to find the model like we don't know this bit not and beta one right we have to for different data it will be different right so for this kind of data the beta naught will be different beta one beta naught for this kind of data cloud the beta naught and beta one will be different so how do we actually find it right how do we find the actual line so that is by the loss function we need something called the loss function okay and that is the idea of least square that's an algorithm okay the least square algorithm tells that we define the loss by the square error loss the loss is actually l Okay, before that, I must tell you one thing that this f has two parameters. So it's actually f theta of x. Okay, the theta is the two parameters. It's actually I'm telling the scenario of parametric models. For non-parametric models, there are infinite amount of parameters. But here, a function is denoted. It has a bijection with the two parameters. Okay, the parameters are the corresponding parameters are theta equal to beta naught and beta one. Yeah, for this simple linear regression, so remember it's very important. Okay, these parameters are very important because we will essentially mapping the functions with the parameters. So essentially, if we can sort of find the beta ones and beta one, beta naughts and beta ones, we will essentially find the function. Okay, which we are trying to find the perfect function for the x y data cloud. So what we do, we have the least square. The least square is actually L of theta. So it's a loss function. In this case, it's a least square where it's summation of y i the data is. I from one to n. Let's say the n data is y i minus this f theta of x i. Also, it's sort of the all the sum of the squares. Okay, sum of the errors, sum of the squares of the errors. Okay, that we have observed, and this is the expected. So for different theta and theta naughts, we have l theta, right? So if we put in theta as one comma two, we get a different l loss. If we put Uh, different l thetas will essentially l this loss function because we know this y i and x i okay so essentially we are trying to sort of model the error sum of squares sum of the error squares so residual sum of squares okay so we are sort of minimizing this sum okay why because for the so essentially this loss is a function of the parameters okay so what will what for what theta we will choose this is the theta and this is the l right you will choose the theta for the minimum loss right we want to find the function where it's a minimum you don't for this data cloud you can you don't want to select that like this right because the loss you can understand it. like loss is uh, like not good it's much more right so we want to minimize the loss so therefore the next step is that we want to minimize the loss if you want to minimize the loss what we get is a theta hat after minimizing loss in this case why it's taken square because the square has a minimum unique Minimum, okay. It's a convex function. That's why it's a unique minimum. Uh, so therefore, this is very important. That's why it's, uh, it's often told that we take squares because of the calculus part. This is the reason the calculus part. We have to minimize the thing. So minimizing thing is very easier for this easier stuff. 
that's why we don't take modular stuff okay the algorithm is very hard for a oh, different loss function we have something called stochastic gradient method not stochastic but gradient descent method sorry and uh, for there we what we do is that we have to minimize say there's an algorithm to minimize the loss okay that's topic for a different video but here we minimize the loss by minimizing the least square method okay and uh, what we get out of this least square we get the following arg of mean of theta of l theta for which we get the minimum loss function that's it so this is the basic model and the algorithm of the simple linear regression the second part of the video consists of asking and seeing that runs out of loss functions okay minimizing loss function and we get something called normal equations and from there we will find this estimates okay that's the part of the next video see you guys in the next video stay tuned stay blessed